Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I tape my aerial hoop using New Bombs cloth bar tape. My method is to tape from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock on both sides of my hoop. You can mark out your 6 and 12 o'clock spots before you get started. I'm going to give you all my tips and tricks to get your hoop wrapped as smoothly as possible. Taping your hoop is like a rite of passage, a ritual if you will. It's a time for you to connect with your apparatus and a huge labor of love. It can also take some time, so try to give yourself some grace and embrace the imperfections along the way. Let's get to it. To minimize exposed edges, we can start by laying the initial wraps with two rolls. Once we lay those wraps down, we'll start wrapping up each side individually. I'll show you how to do this up close. At six o'clock, lay down your tape on the underside of the bar at a slight diagonal and make one full wrap. Grab a second roll and lay down that end directly on top of the first piece you placed. Put it at a slight diagonal in the opposite direction so that when you start wrapping, each of these rolls will wrap up opposite sides of your hoop towards 12 o'clock. Once you've laid down the initial wraps, grab each roll and keep wrapping over the live edges you've just created. Keep the two working strips side by side and taut. We are trying to cover our initial wraps. Now we are left with just one exposed edge here, but it looks nice and clean, and we are ready to start wrapping up the sides of our hoop. Go ahead and choose one of these two ends to work with first, and let's get to wrapping. If you're new to new bombs, it takes time getting used to peeling off the backing, but I think it's worth it. I like to keep my excess trimmed, tearing it off as I go to keep it from getting in the way. It can also be helpful to keep your rolls coiled up as much as you can, but don't be surprised if you accidentally send one rolling across the floor. It happens to all of us, trust me. As I wrap, I typically overlap the exposed edges about 50% or a little less than that. My goal is to make sure I'm covering those exposed edges. Whatever you decide for the amount of overlap, if you want it to look consistent, just try to overlap the same amount each time. I can get the tape to stay pretty smooth by pulling it tight as I make my way around the bar. You can use your thumb or a finger to encourage the tape to lay flat where you want it to go. When you get to the end of a roll, it's time to start a new one. Don't worry, I got you. As you lay down the end of your roll, place it directly on the bar with no overlap. Now you've got two edges butting up against each other. We'll come back to cover those later. Take your new roll and place it down end to end with the roll you just used up. Still no overlap. You want this connection point to be flat so it's not too bulky when we wrap over it again. Your first wrap with the new roll is going to come back over the exposed edges we butted up together. And then you can continue wrapping forward, covering up the rest of your exposed ends. From there, you will just proceed as normal. Keep wrapping up the bar and everything looks nice and tidy. all the way up to 12 o'clock uh, and hopefully you've marked it out so you know exactly where your 12 o'clock is or if you're like me maybe you'll just eyeball it the amazing thing about constantly taping our hoops is that we we get to do it over and over again so it's not a huge deal if you have some hiccups and with time you'll start to get into your own rhythm with it but for the most part uh, doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna have to rewrap it anyway. <laughs> so don't be too hard on yourself. So when you get up to your uh, 12 o'clock, we're going to lay the tape just as if we were gonna start a new roll. We're gonna lay it right next to the 
that last wrap without overlapping because when we come around with the tape from this side we'll use that opportunity to overlap this and we don't want to have already overlapped it because then it will be extra bulky there so we're gonna just lay it right next to that last wrap right up against the bar with no overlap and then we're gonna go to our six o'clock and tape all the way up the other side as you get to the finish line with this tape job, you just wanna make sure to cover the exposed edges. As far as I know, you will not be able to avoid that last little exposed end, but using this method leaves you with only one little exposed end at the top here, and it is the best method I've found in all of my years of taping an aerial hoop. When making the final cut, I try to wrap the end underneath my bar. And this is optional, but I like to make about two wraps at the 12 o'clock point, so it helps me easily identify where I will be rigging my hoop for the entire life of this tape job. Because this is a tabless hoop, I will only rig from 12 o'clock. If I rig from anywhere other than 12 o'clock, my edges could start rolling. The next time I tape my hoop, I will make sure to switch up my rig point spot to help distribute the wear on my bar over time. Thanks for sticking with me, friends. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you fall in love with Newbaum's tape as much as I have. Good luck and happy hooping.